Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be learning all about the pen tool in Affinity Publisher. So pen tools are notorious for causing people problems, especially new designers tend to open up a program like Affinity Designer or Illustrator or Inkscape and they grab the pen tool thinking that they're going to be able to draw with it and it just doesn't work the way that they anticipate it to because they aren't used to working with vector points yet. So today we're going to go over the pen tool in Affinity Publisher which is very very similar to the pen tool in Affinity Designer and also so similar to pen tool and something like Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to go over all of the different keyboard shortcuts that you use with it and how to get the lines that you want out of it. This is a great exercise in learning how vector points work, which is basically the basis of all vector illustration. But we're going to be going through this pretty quickly. I am using a Mac, so the keyboard shortcuts I'm using will be on a Mac. Just remember that command on a Mac is generally control on a PC and option on a Mac is generally alt on a PC. Let's go ahead and grab the pen tool. The pen tool is is the sixth tool down on the left hand side or you can just hit P on your keyboard. What the pen tool does at its most basic is it drops points. So pen tool alone and you just click your mouse, it's going to drop a point. That's a vector point. Then if we click again, we'll drop another vector point. We might be trying to draw a straight line here but just clicking like that isn't going to draw a super straight line. So I'm going to hit command Z to undo and we're going to make a new line. Click here and then if we hold down shift, we'll see we get this guide and this guide is constraining us to a straight line. We can do a straight line at a couple different angles, but we can't do it slightly off and that's perfect when we want to draw a line. So then we'll just, we're just holding down shift and we'll click again. Now we have a straight line. If we ever want to get out of drawing mode in the pen tool, we just hit escape. And now we can start a new line. The next thing to understand now that we know how to draw straight lines is how to draw curved lines. If you click and drag without letting go, you'll get these handles. These are called Bezier handles and they allow you to draw curves with the pen tool. The further out you go, the more curved it'll be. And you can adjust the angle as you go around. The real key with Bezier handles is to practice with them. That's the only way that you can actually learn how to use them and how far you need to go and how to make them work together. So when we click that, that's going to make this line come out at a angle and curve. And then if we click over here, we can draw another one. And this allows us to get a curve. So those are the Bezier handles and that's how you draw with them. Hit escape to get out of that. Let's try another line. If I'm drawing up the Bezier handles and I hold down shift now, this will have me draw out at angles. So if I want to go out at perfect angle, I can hold down shift. Then say I want to draw a line straight across. Of course, I want this to be curved. I hold down shift as I draw it and I hold down shift as I pull out my handles. All right, now let's draw another line. So if we click here, drop a point, we drop another point, then we drop another point. Let's say we wanted to go back and if we hold down our command key, we'll actually get our node tool. And this is the same node tool that we would have if we came up here and we grabbed the white arrow, but we don't want to go up and grab that because then we'd have to stop working in our line and working with our pen tool. So we'll hold down command and we'll get the node tool and then we can move this around. Can adjust where its position is. So after we've moved it into the center, then if we hold down control, that will give us the conversion tool and we can make it curved. So again, holding down command gives us the node tool to reposition points and holding down control allows us to convert. Then we can continue drawing. If we're drawing and we accidentally pull out, but we didn't really want to, we wanted a sharp point instead, we can hold down control and that will allow us to go back to a sharp point and adjust the location of that point. Conversely, if we draw another point, and we don't like where it is, but we do want it to be curved, we can hold down spacebar, and that will allow us to adjust the location of the point while still maintaining the curve. If we aren't drawing a point and we hold down spacebar, that will give us the pan tool so that we can move around our page. So those are the basics of the pen tool in Affinity Publisher. When you want to close off a shape, you just return to the first point that you started with and you click close. The pen tool is often used more in vector illustration programs like Affinity Designer or Adobe Illustrator, but it's really useful to have it inside of Affinity Publisher. And I actually have a whole course where we use the pen tool a lot on creating retro travel posters in Affinity Publisher. And so if you'd like to check that out and learn a lot more about how to use Affinity Publisher, I have that link in the description of this video. But hopefully you've learned a bit more about the pen tool and you'll find it less frustrating as you know how to control it so that you can make the lines and shapes that you want. Remember that you can just click to drop a point, 
You click and drag to pull out your bezier handles to create curves. You hold down shift to constrain it either to a straight line or to 30 degree angles. Hold down option to allow you to adjust just one handle at a time. Hold down control while drawing to be able to adjust that point as a sharp point or hold down space to be able to adjust that point location as a curved point. Hold down command to get the node tool to move around points that you've already placed and hold down spacebar while you are not drawing a new point to get the pan tool. And then you can always press escape to get out of drawing. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.